Hi, I wanted to give you a quick demo of measuring a very, very small resistance with a Muji meter. And uh, the way we're going to do this is uh, we're going to use the fact that we have two channels available to us to measure the current through the very small resistance and the voltage across it at the same time. So to measure the, the resistance we're going to measure is um, the resistance of this uh, grounding cable in a vehicle. So it's very short, very large gauge wire going from the, the negative terminal of the battery to the frame. And all the current of the vehicle is going to be passing through this, but it's a very, very small resistance. It's, it's in the micro ohms. Um, so we have alligator clips across it. And to get the current through it, we're going to use a DC clamp meter. Um, and to read it, we are using a mushy meter. Um, and we're going to go inside the vehicle and check it out. Hi, so we're back in the car with uh, just about everything off. Uh, once again, the top channel is showing the voltage coming out of a DC current clamp. One millivolt of that reading is one amp from the battery. And the bottom channel is the voltage across the grounding strap of the vehicle. So uh, we want to measure the resistance of that grounding strap. And uh, not everything is perfectly zeroed. So instead of trying to take a measurement and do a division, uh, let's look at the slope of the XY uh, profile because that is not sensitive to zeroing issues and zeroing can be an issue with these very small readings and especially with that current clamp. So I'm turning on peripherals in the car and uh, just as a reminder here the uh, the x-axis here is uh, the current, so that's the uh, voltage from the current clamp. And the y-axis is the voltage across the shunt. So just from turning on the peripherals, you can already see very clearly the slope of, uh, of that line, uh, which is, what's that look like? Sorry, some quick mental math here. Um, it's about... 35 amps for 7 millivolts across the shunt, so uh, very roughly, yeah, so that's about 200 micro ohms uh, that the, the shunt resistance is. Um, let's keep capturing and just see if that holds for a whole startup transient. So I just turned the engine on and um, that gave us a 100 millivolt drop across the uh, across the shunt for a 600 amp current. So that would come out to uh, yeah, just a little bit under uh, 200 micro ohms for that shunt. So yeah, we just performed a very low. Uh, value resistance measurement in circuit without uh, breaking any circuits. Uh, cool.